Hi everyone, so thank you to Jim for doing this presentation for me, and as Carol said, I'm John Lucy, the kitchen room, the kitchen guy from BNI. <laughs> right, well, I'll have to quickly run through the photos actually, I was going to do a bit of talking, but I don't think I've got time. So I'll, uh, well, I'll take here. Right, here's one, my Kings's clients. This was a, a rental property, because uh, people quite often say to me, oh, you only do high end, don't you? No, when we do your kitchen, it becomes high end. <laughs> so, this was a, a rental. We had to do this at a particular point, point, price point. Uh, when we used to do that, we completely get some high street superstores, and we did very well with it. Right, and there's a, a finished one, if you can see it. <coughs> so I go backwards and forwards. Before. After. <coughs> it was a very small kitchen, but uh, it was a complete refurb. It all new flooring, it's a lot of wiring, work done, decorating, plastering, work done, <coughs> tiling. On the tiles, and I don't know if you can see them, sorry, I'm in your way, we actually use a, a metal, polished metal edgings on the edges there. So even on a, a fairly basic kitchen, you can still give it that high edge that makes it look a little bit more special. Okay? Oh, the other thing was, oh yeah, because yeah, you asked about top end. It's probably quite well known that I do actually go into the city networking for corporate clients, and some of the uh, some of the buds are bearing fruit, or blossoms, shall I say. So these carefully laid branches are beginning to, uh, to grow. But, the, but sometimes the greatest reward can be found in the most modest place. So people with a, with a low budget, we can quite often hit that price point. And it is quite rewarding to be able to deliver a lovely kitchen at a competitive price to people who don't actually have, aren't that well off. Single parents, other pensioners. So a lot of families are struggling to make ends meet, let alone have a new kitchen. So to be able to hit a price point, deliver, give them something really nice is quite quite a good feeling. Okay so far? <laughs> right, this one. What is this one? Oh yeah, this was in Watton. This is the, uh, I've got this actually, my sub that's fabricable. And picked up a £23,000 kitchen. Yeah, love it. And this was the house, this was the kitchen before. Clearly we started stripping it out. Can you see it all properly? You know? Yeah. Can you all see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I've been quick because there's quite a few photos. Uh, and I don't think you can see that. That's where it's finished. Yeah. Back to some forward side. Before. After. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, this was for Jane. And she. Uh, that's uh, where we have it. Now that we've got um, white sparkle worktops around the edge of it, on the breakfast bar we put an oak worktop. The breakfast bar, this, this island, shall I say, was kind of an afterthought that she wanted, but we used the oak to try and give a, a colour contrast to the rest of the room. Try and sort of, um, and, the, and the funny thing is, she was having a shaker style, but literally two days before the kitchen turned up, she went, John, John, I don't want it. I want something really modern and cutting edge. Okay, so we did. <laughs> oh, there's another picture of it. Ah, oh, this is one we're doing, we're doing at the moment. And Jim's actually been there. Thank you very much, Jim. This was, again, uh, one of my clients. We put a heating system in for him about five years ago. Uh, they rang me up, haven't been for a few years. He's since in the four, year, four years I've seen him, he's now got three children and a partner. Well, they bought a house in Sheerness, and I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? <laughs> Pretty grim. <laughs> so, uh, again, we didn't have a lot of money to spend, but we managed to source. Um, some cupboards, uh, worktops, etc. As you can see, we are actually we've stripped off all the wood because it was covered in wood planking everywhere, and it, it was dreadful. Of course, when we took the wood planking off, the ceilings were hanging down, the plaster was hanging off the walls. It was dire. So we've gone in, we've reboarded everything. It's all been replastered, boarded, and replastered. Can you see that or not? Yeah. Um, we've also um, got some. Uh, Compound over the flooring because the flooring, I don't think you can see the flooring was pretty grim as well. So we've put some leveling compound over the whole floor, it's all been plastered. Uh, it's, it's painted over the weekend and the fit starts today. Again, we've managed to source a competitively priced product, it was ready to assemble, but it all came with soft clothes and everything, so it'll have that quality feel to it once it's finished. But it was a tight budget, of course, it's a tight budget. Oh, that's another picture of the same room, sorry. Right. This is a computer image 
of what it would look like, because it's not finished yet, to be able to show it to you. <laughs> but that is a computer image of it, and that's, that's the door into the kitchen before it's quite finished, and that's what it will hopefully look like, what it will look like, once it's finished, at the end of the week. Oh, right, another one. This was a weird one, because I was walking through a high street superstore, and I was walking past the kitchen part, and two people came up to me and said, because I had my overalls on, do you know anything about kitchens? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I did rumor. <coughs> no, seriously. And funny enough, they said, uh, I said, yeah, funny enough, we do kitchens. And, uh, so I ended up going to the house. And again, we competed against our uh, high street superstore. And we were considerably cheaper. Again, it was quite nice. The budget was tight. And it was really nice to actually be able to deliver something that looked really nice when it was finished. Uh, right. Before. That's, a, that's another before. As you can see, things get worse before they get better. <laughs> <laughs> and there is, it's not quite finished, but there's more or less the finished article. We still have the stainless steel extractor wood to go into there. But, uh, yeah, a bit of a transformation. I'll go back quickly. So before, after. This is where you'll go, ah, oh, oh, that's better. <laughs> uh, where else are we? How long have I got? Ah, this one. This was in Croydon. This one. Now, I don't know if you can see it, these are the original 1930s kitchen cupboards. Now, that she wants a, a shaker style kitchen going in with granite worktops, they're going to spend a lot of money, but they want to keep, she wants to keep this original feature. If you can see it in the top corner there, it's even got the old clothes horse. Do you remember these things that yeah. we used to hang from the ceiling and let them, bum and let them down by the rope and hang all the clothes on? She wants to keep that as well. And it's got bells in the kitchen for the servants, what the servants used to bring. <laughs> so we've got, to, we've got to take all that out. We're keeping this in. But I've got, I've got a painter. And when he paints a door, it's like you can put your hand into it. It's so deep, the shine. It's lovely. So that's going to be refurbished, and that will go in with a new kitchen. So we are, we are also clearly sympathetic to anything that's existing and to try to keep the character of the building. Where are we now? Ah, right, this one. This was. Uh, well, this one. But, all right, okay, that was one we did in <coughs> last year. That was, uh, that's, that was funny actually. There, that's where my poem came from about painted doors to return floors. Because we've got painted doors and return floors. Uh, again, they had granite worktops. Uh, we, we had very high ceilings there. Am I in the way? Sorry. So what we've done, we've taken the cupboards right up to the ceiling. Uh, that was a bit of an afterthought, but it really gave it a stunning look. It made the ceilings look very high. It made it look very expensive. That's probably because it was. <laughs> uh, where are we? Which one's this? All oh, right. Okay. This and lights in another kitchen we've been doing. Uh, they wanted a kind of a an urban industrial look to their room. So what we've done, we've sourced these lights. I think it was John Lewis actually. We sort, oh no, it's Martin Spencer's. Uh, we source these lights, and that's over an island. Uh, and as you can see, it's that kind of urban, industrial, pseudo look that a lot of people like at the moment. Very appealing. How long have I got? One minute thirty. Oh, crap, be quick. Right, there's a rental we did um, last year. As you can see, it's pretty grim. It'll be really quick. We've got a minute and a half. Again, it got worse before it got better. And there it is when it's finished. That's another one that we did. That was the one in Beckenham, actually. That was the before, that's the tap, and that's the after. Can you all see it? Yeah. Oh, it'll be really, really quick now. Right, this one, we haven't done. This is a picture of um, Pinterest. But one of Kingsley's clients, who I saw last week, this is the look that they want. And this is, this is the photo that's going to be the inspiration for their kitchen. And. What I tend to do when these are going on, I'll sift through the internet for photos and ideas, lighting, all sorts of colours and worktops, flooring, everything. <coughs> this kitchen will probably take me 10 to 15 visits and design stages before we actually get to a point where it meets their criteria. Because it is really important that we get what you want. And I usually do about 10 visits, sometimes 10 to 15 CAD drawings, before we actually hit that spot, spot where it's, it's really what you want. So, yeah, one of Kingsley's ones. In fact, we've just done a kitchen for John and Kingsley. Good lads, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <An> audience. <laughs> yeah. 
But and we, uh, it was, the fit was finished yesterday. The granite was templated yesterday, and the granite for that one will be going in next week. I couldn't show you the pictures for that one because it's not quite finished. But that room is going to be beautiful. That's one of Kingsley and John's creations. Good team. So, I've still got. I've got oh, that's it. <laughs> One quick question for John, someone's got a question? Anybody? No, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic presentation, John. You're clearly very, very proud of the work you do as well.